Hello and welcome back. In this little episode, we're going to be exploring uh, some of the onboard sensors. And uh, one of the onboard sensors that we're going to be exploring is the temperature sensors. So we're just going to call this one temperature. And so we're going to figure out how cold or warm it is uh, here in my office. And so on here we can explore with uh, the on start and forever but i actually want it to to do it based on a certain input and so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to get rid of these two pieces of starting code and we're going to go up to our input and on button a pressed and so on button a pressed we're going to find out what the temperature is and then display it so we're going to go into our inputs and you'll see here as we scroll down there's one of these inputs it's actually oval shaped and so this is what we call a reporter block and this reporter block actually reports a number whereas some of the other blocks that we might see um, are hexagons so here this is also a reporter block but it's actually a, um, a true or false reporter block so I'm going to go in here into basic and I'm just going to grab our show string and then hello. It's going to be replaced by the temperature. And the nice thing is the temperature is already in Celsius. And so since I usually measure things in Celsius, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it as is. And so here we are. Um, I can explore with the simulator. So. 14 looks good now I want to take this a little bit further um, before I push it onto the micro bit and so right now I'm just measuring temperature in Celsius but let's say that we're in the science lab and we want to measure something in a different temperature um, range or a different unit of measurement and so what I can do is I can I'm going to do a little bit of changing in the, with this one and I'm going to add a new variable called temperature. And so what I can do here is I'm going to bring my forever back and you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to say that forever set the temperature to the temperature that makes sense so this is always going to be measuring what's the what the temperature is right so if I'm always doing this it's always setting the temperature value to that temperature value um, of the variable to the actual temperature value that it's measuring um, on the micro bit and so now what I can do is I can take this value or this reporter block and put it in here. So it again, you know, here we've got the temperature value of, of 28 or 21. So if I press that, it looks great. We're, we're in terms of the output of our code, it hasn't really changed. But what I'm doing in terms of why I'm having this variable, it also allows us that on input I can say, for example, on button B pressed, I can show number. Well, I just realized I put show string hello here. And obviously that, that worked out. And I'm, I'm actually going to change it for a second because right now it's just showing me 21. But I should be sh showing 21C or 21 Celsius. And so there's another one that I have to go down here for text and so I'm going to join two things together so I'm just going to say temperature and then this is going to have a space C and now let's put that back in there now let's press a see what happens once it's refreshed so 21 C so now we know that this one is in Celsius and so what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to do the same sort of thing. And actually, just to make my life easier, I'm going to right click on this one, duplicate. So it's going to duplicate the whole thing. But I need to do some math on my temperature first. Now, to get temperature into Kelvin, I actually need to do an addition in here. So I'm going to take my original temperature, my measured temperature, and I'm going to add 273 point, I think it's 15. And now it's not Celsius anymore, but it's going to be Kelvin, capital K for Kelvin. And so now when I have this one, so again, now the nice thing about this is it's sort of always checking the temperature, but it's storing it, but it's not displaying it until you click the button, and then it displays it. And so now you just saw uh, 300 and something, I think it would have been 305, 305, yeah, point one five. Great. And so now what we can go ahead and do is I'm going to make sure that I'm connected to the micro bit. And so it, you can see that it is. It's got this little connection here and also in the top. Um, we've also got that there. So I'm going to click on download. And then I'm just going to bring the micro bit into view here. So I'm going to bring my code so that you can probably see it better. So now that we've got our microbit connected, we're downloading it on there. We have download complete. And if I go ahead and I press it, so you can see here it is 19 degrees Celsius in my office. And it is 292.15 Kelvin in here. And so just to explain a little bit more in terms of the uh, temperature, uh, the temperature is actually based on what we have on the back of our um, micro bit here. And so you'll see there's a, there's a few different um, spaces on here. And so it's actually sort of based on the processor. And so based on what we have here, so we have the speaker, processor, accelerometer, compass, and pins. So the processor is actually right here. So this particular thing right here is the processor. And the temperature sensor is based on the processor temperature sensor. And so um, obviously it's not going to be uh, an exact measurement because this is an electronic device and it can ha heat up if, if it starts to, to work. Um, and so with that, you might get some you know, a, a, a little bit of variability with there. And, you know, so if you're looking for something more exact, then you probably want to think about something that would be connecting to your uh, edge connectors um, for, a, for a temperature sensor. But for something just, you know, simply in a, in a what range are we in, um, you can see that it's it's reasonable now if I do it if I press it again you see it went up to 22 and so it'll be interesting to see you know if we took it outside um, or if we put it in the freezer in the fridge what sort of temperature changes we would get associated with it all right so thanks again for watching and you know again if you have any questions please feel free to reach out if not bye for now and happy coding